In this video, I put the 2015 Ohio State Buckeyes roster in today's NFL to see if they can win a Super Bowl. Shout out to my guy, the Texas boy 9-1. He sent me this tweet. And no, I don't agree with the first line of the tweet that says they would have been able to beat an NFL team back then. But I think they can do pretty well right now because they have one of the best quarterbacks in the league, Joe Burr. And I know, okay, LSU fans, he belongs to you. But he did start out at OS you like he did play some games for ohio state so for the purposes of the video we had to include him maybe we do another video like this with an lsu roster in the future who knows now some notes for the video i only added players from the 2015 ohio state roster that made it to the nfl now if they're not currently in the league i used maddenratings.weebly.com to get their most recent rating they had in madden so we have cardale jones backing up burrow he was a 66 in Madden 19. And JT Barrett at QB3, he was a 50 overall in Madden 21. Ezekiel Elliott at a running back. Now he's actually not going to be the starter. I know, it's kind of crazy. But Curtis Samuel was listed as a running back for Ohio State. And he's an 88 overall. So he's going to be RB1. Behind the two of them, we have Mike Weber. Another guy who played multiple positions is Braxton Miller. He played quarterback, wide receiver. I mean, he did it all. In front of him, we have Paris Campbell, Noah Brown, Michael Thomas, and Scary Terry McLaurin, all from one college football roster. Tight end, we have Nick Vanette as the highest overall from that roster, only a 66. Marcus Ball and Rashad Berry behind him. Left tackle, we have Taylor Decker, the best O lineman from that roster. Left guard, we have Pat Elfling, Billy Price at center, Jamarco Jones at right guard, and Isaiah Prince at right tackle. Offense is a 70 seven overall the defense is slightly better starting at left outside linebacker for the defense is none other than joey bosa 88 overall behind him is chris warley justin hilliard was a 55 overall mad 23 darren lee was a 73 overall mad 20 and then we have jerome baker at mlb number one right out we have raekwon mcmillan and joshua perry jalen holmes was a 68 overall mad 23 in front of him we have tyquan lewis and sam hubbard starting at left end. Right end, we have Draymond Jones. He tackled Devon Hamilton. Adolphus Washington was a 65 in Mad 20. And then we have Jay Sean Cornell. But the pride of this defense has to be the cornerback core with Marshawn Lattimore at CB1. And then Denzel Ward on the other side. Garyon Conley in the slot. He was a 76 overall in Madden 21. And then Demon Arnett had a lot of off the field issues, but he was a 70 overall in Madden 21. They also have Eli Apple, free safety Malik Hooker, strong safety Von Bell, and Tyvis Powell who was a 60 in Madden 18. Punter Cameron Johnston and they didn't have a kicker on the roster that made it to the NFL. And there was also no Ohio State kickers in Madden. So we had to bring back an Ohio State legend. Mike Nugent roster is respectable and 79 overall. Not only do I think they can beat an NFL team but I think Burrow can do some damage with this squad and make a playoff run now i'll be honest the one thing holding us back might be the offensive line i mean 260 something overalls maybe even three i can't remember but before we continue to sim we have a super chat from hot rod 24 it says video idea i have a full defense of the best player on each team in a sim example a defense of tj watts that's a good one appreciate the donation i've been one halfway through the season still one game behind the ravens for first in the afc north but would you look at these stats man third in points per game a top seven defense best run defense in the league i mean this is unbelievable now they have a huge litmus test against the six and one niners gonna try to help them out as always we're on all madden and simulation i need bosa up near the line of skirmish I, I need him to be rushing the passer more often than not nice block shed hamilton in the backfield we end up getting attacked for a loss with baker phenomenal start right there i love it now we have bosa on the line that's where i need him second and 12 back to the run i don't blame them this this time McCaffrey still breaking tackles he's gonna pick up most of those yards back but again this is the best run D in the league you can see why MD tackles playing really well third and five though oh McCaffrey's open he didn't see him yes sir Purdy going down Perry with the sack three and out the start now I'm not shocked the offense is really good I mean we have amazing wide receivers so uh, that's to be expected Burrow also 
has elite arm talent. Noah Brown with the huge first down. He has emerged for the Texans. That's what great quarterback play can do for you, man. CJ Stroud has them boys balling in Houston. Curtis Samuel picking up a nice game right there. I don't like how they're pressing my uh, wide receiver. Scary Terry is too good to be left in one-on-one -on -one coverage. We get the first lead of the game. Oh no, Kittle wide open. Not what we need to see. Him getting going. Uh -oh. Bosa out in the flats against McCaffrey. Nice tackle. I refuse to take credit for that one, man. I clicked off. Let him do his thing. And that he did. Second down to 12. Yes, sir. Eli Apple with the lurk. We get the huge INT in great field position. Just like that, we have a chance to put up some more points on the board. Curtis Samuel with the spin. Back to the run we go. Curtis getting some nice blocks. I did not expect the old line to block like this. Maybe go to Michael Thomas right here. Quick out, you know what I'm saying? There it is. Yes, sir. Got ourselves a third and 11. Hopefully Burrow can uh, throw a nice pass. There it is. Yes, sir. MT. Keeping the chains moving again. Right up the gut with Zeke Elliott. Halfback draw. Get off him. Okay, he doing a baby. You know what? Bet. Right back to him. That's how you feel, huh? All right, well, you're gonna see. We're gonna see Zeke. Yes, sir. Truck that young man, Zeke. Who they calling a baby, man? We going right up the gut again. Goal line back. What a win. Zeke Elliott putting us up two scores. So far, so good from this defense. Still plenty of time, though. They have way too much talent to consider this game anywhere near over. Here comes another run. Bosa with the tackle for a loss. I think the overalls don't really tell the whole story. Like, this team, maybe it's because they're back in Ohio. Maybe it's because they're back together. The brotherhood is there. I, I don't know. The chemistry is on another level. Bringing up Von Bell. I think this is going to be a run. Yes, sir. What I say. Jesus oh, McCaffrey. What a move. Touchdown save and tackle from Lattimore. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. We lurk Purdy again. This time with Jerome Baker. We're up three possessions just like that. Up by this much, we're going to super sim to the end. Now, if it gets close at any point in the fourth, might have to hop back in, but it looks good, man. Blowout win against the Niners. Right now, we're tied for first in the division with the Ravens, so they're looking good. Even if they don't win the division, they should at least make it in the wild card round. Like the video for good luck, and if you want to see more college-themed videos on the channel, there it is. Not only do they make the playoffs, they win the division 13-4. and four. They do have a wild card game against CJ Stroud and the Texans, another Ohio State quarterback. Taking a look at the schedule. Started off hot with five straight wins. Ended up losing to the Seahawks in week six. Now they did lose to the Texans in week 10. So this is a chance to get some revenge. Here's a look at the playoff picture. Kansas City was a little bit better. They end up with the one seed. Niners end up with the one seed. So that should give us some confidence. Burrow finished second in passing yards and passing touchdowns, fourth in passer rating. Samuel, 10th most rushing touchdowns, not the most yards. And Scary Terry, top 10 in every major category. 40 tutties, only eight picks for Burrow, 76% complete percentage. 600 yards. I mean, that's insane. 121.7 pass rating. Samuel did have the most yards on the team. Burrow was actually second. Zeke had the second most touchdowns, though. Seven. Terry, Noah Brown, and Thomas all had a thousand yards receiving. Vanette with a nice season. Samuel out the backfield did his thing as well. Jerome Baker leads the team in tackling. But it's Sam Hubbard with 18 and a half sacks to lead everyone. Josh Perry, Devon Hamilton. Where is Bosa? He only had half a sack. That's very interesting, but he did have the second most tackles for a loss behind Hubbard who almost had double seven INTs for Lattimore four for Von Bell three for Eli Apple and Denzel Ward Nugent missed three kicks on a season one extra point an MVP goes to Jalen Hurts Mahomes ends up second Burrow finishes third OPOY goes to Kelsey Burrow finishes third again McLaurin in the top 10 DPOY goes to Crosby Hubbard's right behind him best QB Mahomes steals it from Burrow best running back Samuel in the top 10 even though he didn't have the most yards per carry. McLaurin and Noah Brown, along with Michael Thomas, all three of them in the top 10 for best wide receiver. He had no one in the top 10 for best alignment. Hubbard second for best D lineman. As for linebackers, nobody in there as well. Marshawn Lattimore wins best DB though. Time to see if Burrow can keep this team alive. Defense on the field first against Stroud in this offense. He's going to have to throw it away on his first pass. So Bosa might not have the most sacks, but right there, you can see he's 
still getting pressure on the quarterback when his number is called upon now we have been using him to drop back on certain plays so that might factor into it right here on third down no we have joshua perry forcing a three and now great start from this defense all we really need is like one first down we're in field goal range so it sucks that we've just been going backwards here comes the screen samuel can't break loose it's gonna be another quick three and now they finally got going heading into half number two they extend their lead in the third quarter but the texans refuse to go away fourth quarter now we have the eight point lead texans are gonna score a touchdown but not get the two point conversion and ohio state's moving on 17 to 15 the two buckeyes quarterbacks battled it out but burrow ends up on top samuel 1.7 yards a carry zeke has zero carries that's something they're gonna have to figure out but right now they're 15 and 3 on the season so i don't want to make any changes to the depth chart whatever's working is working back to back blizzards this time against the buffalo bills both teams are top 10 in offensive and defensive points per game here's a look at the updated playoff bracket nothing but great teams remaining once again defense on the field first dealing with josh allen the wyoming alum him and burrow have definitely had some battles but allen starts off with a disastrous interception jerome baker with the nice int first run of the game to the outside curtis samuel that burst of speed puts ohio state on top so if you were wondering why he's the starter and why his overall so high at running back that there's your answer and he opens space once he gets to football look out okay buffalo does get a field goal and a touchdown in the second quarter but the bengals answer right back 21 18 in the fourth quarter actually six point game until buffalo takes the lead 25 24 this is a 54 yarder 55 for mike nugent he should be able to make this it's gonna be tough but he's capable and he does it all comes down to this fourth down who's gonna step up for this defense and send them to the conference championship game it was the d-line once again so now you just melt the clock don't turn it over and you're headed to the next round burrow gonna hand it off samuel up the gut that's exactly what you wanted the first down without scoring now you can take some knees another victory for the buckeyes 30 to 25 great quarterback duel once again curtis samuel another touchdown 2.5 yards a carry though like i'm telling you that's gonna rear its ugly head at the worst possible time but right now it's working hubbard two sacks baker that huge int next up is mahomes and the best offense in the league the kansas city chiefs we somehow get through them we have either the niners or the eagles waiting for us in the super bowl third straight game in the playoffs where the defense is on the field first it's been working out quick stop would be lovely oh wow look at bosa with the sack on the first play of the game i'm telling you that's a fake number a half sack no they're they definitely counted wrong this is how he's been used the entire season back to back sacks this time it's sam hubbard the front seven is unbelievable only one of them have abilities but like half of them are playing as if they all do third and 26 now mahomes gonna throw a pick a pick six to start this one marshawn Lattimore putting osu on top so the defense started out with some points and then they force a punt on their next drive now can burrow add to our lead they're gonna start at their own 20 yard line play action wide open over the middle is michael thomas got a nice drive going curtis samuel rounding the edge this is where he thrives in the open field they're inside the 30 that's how we should be using him i think why his yards per carry is so low is because they try to use him like a typical running back and go up the gut that's not him that's not his specialty joe burrow though using his legs running all the way down to the one yard line a 27 yard pickup start a quarter number two first and goal now i, I thought they would come out and goal line and give the ball to zeke but instead it's curtis samuel giving us the 14 point lead this is unbelievable what they're doing to these amazing teams 21 14 heading into half number two chiefs definitely started turning up it's a tie game we take the lead right back fourth quarter we extend our lead one possession is all we need to move on 35 28 ohio state is headed to the super bowl mahomes started cooking in the second half three touchdowns over 300 yards but this was curtis samuel's best game of the playoffs on the ground five yards a carry they actually fed zeke he had five yards a carry burrow with that amazing run almost scored a touchdown on it look at michael thomas 12 for 128 and a touchdown kelsey got going but it was too little too
too late. One game remaining. It's the San Francisco 49ers. They're looking for some revenge after we beat them earlier in the season. Now we've already seen how this one goes. So we're going to sim to the end and hopefully it goes the same exact way. Now they strike first in this one and they actually have a two possession lead at one point. But hey, we're not going away that easily. Third quarter, they're up 21 to 10. Actually make it 28 to 17 in the fourth quarter. Wait a minute. This is now the biggest play of the season. We don't get this stop. The season's over. We send a blitz and Ayuk somehow catches that with our cornerback draped all over him. And the Ohio State Buckeyes end up losing in the Super Bowl. Still had a phenomenal season to even get there. Joey Bosa versus Nick Bosa. You know, that was the story of the Super Bowl. Probably dominated all the coverage, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Burrow almost got it done McCaffrey just could not be stopped 10 yards of carry Thomas did his thing glorying it the whole team was balling great season fun video man let me know who I should do next and I'll see you on the next one